Good day, everyone. Today, we are going to talk about the Homeroom Guidance Learners Development Assessment Tool for Grade 1 to 3 or Primary Level for School Year 2021 to 2022. So, as an advisor, uh, this is one of uh, our tasks to accomplish the HG Learners Development Assessment Tool of our learners. So, particularly, we are going to discuss the HG LDA of grade 1 to 3 primary level. So, what are we going to do? So, let us review first the guidelines on the implementation of homeroom guidance. So, it is clearly stated in the guidelines that this tool should be attached to students SF9 or SF10. So, it is our task as a teacher to accomplish this. Though, as stated in the memo, under um, paragraph 6, that the assessment of learners' development and monitoring of the program, under the assessment of learners' development and monitoring of the program, Though so the intent of uh, HG is to help learners develop competencies that will aid them in facing different issues and tasks, it is important to still track their level of development. So therefore, as a way of tracking or as a tool um, in tracking the progress, the level of development of our learners in HG, so we have must have this. So, homeroom guidance implementers must always keep in mind that the program shall capacitate learners towards success. Hence, compared to the formal learning areas there are being, that are being measured, following the DO number 8 series 2015, homeroom guidance shall utilize learners development assessment tool or this is the Annex 3 and uh, as we can see, there is this um, verbal description so we will be guided by the verbal descriptions as we can see so to the class advisor we have to check the box to indicate your assessment guided by the scale below like for example if it is zero no chance to observe when we say no chance to observe it means to say that the learner did not submit outputs or has not shown any of the target competency in a particular quarter so our basis will be the outputs of our learners um the their outputs from the modules we gave them so when we say needs improvement or ni the learner accomplished and submitted 30% of the output in a particular quarter or has not acquired the target competencies. Okay, so 30% lang ang naisubmit ng bata na output. And when we say developing, so that is 2, okay, it means that the learner accomplished and submitted 60% of the output in a particular quarter or has acquired some of the target competency and uh, three for sufficiently developed so this one the learner accomplished and submitted 90 percent of the output in the particular quarter or has acquired the target competency and uh, the developed and commendable the learner accomplished and submitted 100 percent in a particular quarter and has acquired the target competency and showed commendable application in real life situations. So, for ang, may, ang pinakamataas na, na rating na maaari nating ibigay sa mga bata. Okay. So, the learner's development shall be assessed, remember, through their portfolio and performance task. Now, remember also that the conduct of homeroom guidance is mandatory but this is not part actually of their academic rating so the grades are just descriptive so kung mal, mal, makikita natin dyan ito nga needs improvement no chance observe developing sufficiently developed descriptive lamang siya so 
the needs improvement description shall not be treated as failed. Okay? Doesn't necessarily mean na ang NI or needs improvement is failed but shall indicate the need for intervention from school and home. So, as a guidance counselor, I see to it that I, uh, ch I uh, check all the HG of uh, our learners and list down all students who, got, who um, have this no chance to observe rating or even needs improvement. Okay? So, remember kasi that in the event that the learner remains at the needs improvement at the end of this quarter, pag sa fourth quarter na NI pa rin ang rating ng bata, kailangan na yung advisor at yung guidance counselor and at the same time yung parents. Again, advisor, guidance counselor, and parents need to work together for them to provide intervention for the learner. Hindi rin pwedeng maka-apekto ang mga disciplinary cases ng mga learners sa kanilang HG grades. Like for example, if the student or the pupil committed a disciplinary offense in your school, it doesn't, it should not affect the rating of that pupil in HG. Okay, so remember that the homeroom guidance, um, this uh, tool must be attached to the student SF9 or SF10 and it should no longer be reflected in students SF9 and SF10. So, yun ang pinakaunang memo pero nagkaroon tayo ng advisory na hindi na siya ilalagay sa card. So, um, I hope na we already know how to rate our learners. So, for the competency, we have here first quarter, value oneself, value others, respect individual differences, gain understanding of oneself and others. So, this is for grade 1 to 3 or primary level. And for second quarter, share the lessons learned from school and community that can be used in daily living. Apply lessons from home, school, and community to daily living with consideration to family and society. Examine the different factors in decision-making for the achievement of success. Provide proper steps toward responsible decision-making. Evaluate experiences in decision-making towards achieving common good. Gather information about life, profession, and vocation. Strengthen the connection among knowledge, skills, and roles of parents or guardians and significant adults in choosing a profession, vocation, and future plans. And for the third quarter, we have here um, for competency to prepare, you, uh, prepare using knowledge and skills toward academic success. Apply effective ways of protecting oneself and others. Live effective ways in resolving issues that involve oneself and others. Share skills, helpful to solve problems. And for the fourth quarter, we have here um, seven competencies. Number one is to participate in school activities relevant to the needs of the community. Demonstrate academic excellence based on global needs. Leave ways that respect and protect the environment. Engage oneself in meaningful programs and initiatives for the common good. Strengthen self-empowerment to respond to the needs of the community. Respond to personal and social needs that can contribute to the promotion of international standards. And lastly, state steps to fulfill the goal in life. And uh, as you can see, you have to signify or put your signature there as an advisor. You have to put your name, the name and signature of advisor, as well as the name and signature of the guidance counselor or the guidance designate and the school head or the school principal shall also put their name and sign and ang kagandahan sa form na ito ay pipirma din po ang ating mga magulang, ang mga magulang ng mga bata Ayan. so saan ba manggagaling paano ba natin i-rate so again, our basis will be the output of our learners from the HG modules okay so remember that 
in in every module, meron doon mga nakalagay ng mga objectives. So, sa mga objectives na yon, doon tayo kukuha ng uh, rate natin sa kada competency at titingnan natin yung mga objectives ng mga modules. So, if you if you feel or if you think the student was able to um uh have this was able to get these competencies based from the their responses or answers in their module now we can give them uh, the highest rating which is the develop and commendable for okay value oneself do you think your student have uh, uh, already developed this competency of valuing oneself so again the basis will be their output in their um, HG modules. Okay, so I hope I was able to explain this for you, my dear grade 1 to 3 advisors. And uh, please do not forget to attach this in your, in the students SF9 or SF10. Hindi na natin kailangang isulat sa card ang rating nila. Overall rating, wala naman nga nakalagay ditong overall rating. So, ang pag-rate natin is kada competency and we don't need to uh, um, uh, um, ha have the average rating. Okay? So, kada competency ang pag-rate natin. So, I hope you were able to uh, understand already what, how we are going to use this tool and if you have questions you can put it in our um, chat box okay thank you so much